My goal in the beginning was to have clean water that literally required no maintenance and I didn't have to lug around huge water jugs to Whole Foods each and every week. That's why I also bought this really cool water bottle that tracks how much water I drink each day and reminds me of drink when it lights up at the bottom. Today, I'm gonna to be comparing the Berkey to the Rakhine UI countertop water system. Probably need a better name than that. Now, we're gonna talk about a few specs of the machine. It's a reverse osmosis UV and hydrogen water treatment that literally is a countertop device. You can dispense water hot, cold, and room temp instantly. Changing filters is super easy. And the touchscreen is, for the most part, user-friendly, which we'll talk more about in a moment. I bought this water filter because I live in California. <laughs> but more than that, I bought it because I have a Berkey, but just didn't feel it was adding anything beneficial to my water. It was just removing bad stuff. And I used my Berkey for about two years, maybe even three years. But now I've been using this Rakhine water system for the last five months daily, and I love it. So before we get into the benefits and the pros and cons, uh, I do wanna just talk about the process of how you use the filter. The first thing you do is you fill the tank, which is super easy with the handle, you place it on the back. What's great about this versus the Berkey is that you can never overfill it. I would sometimes walk into my kitchen and just have water on the floor because I overfilled the Berkey. From there, it starts to filter immediately. Then you could just click the button for what you want. So for cold water, you press cold, then the amount, and then you're good to go. It's super easy. Now, let's talk about some of the benefits and then we'll get into some of the weird aspects of it. First, the biggest reason I consider this is that I live in an apartment and having a machine that is countertop was a really big deal. So it is definitely heavy to move around and right now I fill it about once a day to have more than enough water. But if you are a family and you have a lot more people in your house or, or you need to get water for your dog or any of that, it will require more fills throughout the day and it is heavy to move around. So you do need countertop space for it. The second thing is there's no installation and literally requires no maintenance. I don't need to think about the filters. It'll actually tell me when I need new filters, which is based on either one or two year increments based on the specific filter. One of the things I love that I think they don't even talk about on their website that's important is the tray. It's a magnetized tray, so it's easy to move or adjust and it helps you avoid spills. Again, my Berkey would constantly spill or just have little water droplets falling off after I used it. Now, I did pull some stuff from their website that I think is important, which are the benefits of the water. Um, and I'm not an expert at this stuff, but I'm just gonna read what they wrote. It's alkaline and antioxidant hydrogen enriched water. It includes a polished alkaline post filter that returns beneficial minerals, calcium and magnesium to purified water for the best taste. And it does honestly taste great. I also use a metal free and chemical cleanse twice a year from Body Health. If you never heard of it, uh, I'll put the link down below. It also increases the alkalinity of the water to what they would say is a perfectly balanced level between seven to eight pH, which is similar to spring water. And you don't have to think about setting it yourself, which is great. Finally, the hydrogen part of this. The system is a hydrogen infused water, which delivers, I don't know what this means, but it says negative ORP 340. Hydrogen has like great antioxidant benefits and can prevent inflammation. Now, these are some things I wish it had. I wish there was a small LED light so that when you filtered water and it was at night, it would be easy to see how much is in the actual cup because right now it's really hard to see. The second thing is the touchscreen is, is cool, but it's just not that intuitive. And it kind of is a little complicated in some ways. It constantly is like changing numbers in the main like core aspect of the screen when you have the hydrogen part on. And I don't really know what those numbers mean or it doesn't really give me an option to do anything about those numbers. So it's just giving me information that I can't really do anything with. This next one is gonna be really important and valuable for a lot of you. So consider this one, the actual flow rate. The flow rate of the water is pretty slow. As you can see in this review, it's one of the things that this person commented on as well and just said that they didn't like the flow rate. For me, this is something I've gotten used to, but if you need water fast, this is not gonna impress you. Next, they talk about giving you cold water instantly and it does do that, but it only does up to 16 ounces. So it's about 13 to 16 ounces at a time. So you'll need to wait for it to make water cold again. And this also leads to noise, which some people don't like. 
because it has a little fan running when it's cooling the water. Now, hot water is instant, which is awesome, but cold water is slower. So if you're gonna need more than 13 to 16 ounces in, a, in one go, it's gonna be a little bit frustrating. I also generally wish there was just a way you could hit like on and then it'll just run until you hit off, but it doesn't really do that. It goes up to 16 ounces and then you just have to hit it again and again and again. The last thing, and this is really important, is moving it to fill it is hard. It's heavy and when you add water, it's heavier. And so you need space. You probably also need that space right next to your sink to be able to use this. Overall, I love it. It does everything I need and I get to always travel with clean water. One major thing I noticed is that my coffee pot would start to produce like this white residue, which I think is left because of like hard water, like lime scale buildup. But that only happened with my Berkey. Once I started using this new water system, there's no buildup. And my coffee tastes better with the hydrogen infused water as well. Using the Rakine has become a daily ritual for me and it's one of the greatest gadgets in my home. It's not the most intuitive, but honestly, I love it. It gives me peace of mind knowing that I'm giving myself the best water possible. So for you, I'd say choose this filter if you have sufficient countertop space, especially near your sink. And if you value hydrogen and rich water and you appreciate the different options, all of these things for less than a thousand bucks, this is for you. The company also has a more simple countertop water filter that you could consider. I've never used it, but you don't have to spin it around because the water tank is in the front instead of the back. So it could be a little bit easier if the weight of the machine is one of the challenges you are facing. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.